Ball State University with Mo Carter. 2018 was a year first for the Mars Hill Panthers. They won their first region title, their first playoff game, and today they competed for their first state championship. In order to win their first blue map, the Panthers would have to stand tall against an undefeated Linden squad. So they were playing for it all at the Super 7 down at Jordan Hare Stadium. The Panthers started off very hot, scoring on their first touchdown within the first 16 seconds of the game. So let's fast forward to the second quarter. Already up 13 to nothing, Joseph Hansen takes the snap and hauls in some good yard is down the sideline picks up a first down that play would lead to this Hanson hands it off to Justice McDaniels and from nine yards out he puts the Panthers on the board once again it's now 19 to nothing Mars Hill Let's take it to the third quarter now. Linden quarterback uh, Gradarius Brown tries to move his team down the field, but his pass will be intercepted by Mars Hill's Joseph Hansen. He'll take it back 25 yards for a pick six, making the score now 32 to six. Not long after that play, the Panthers would get the ball again. This time, Hanson with a smooth handoff to your MVP of the game, Coach Smith. He runs it in from 25 yards out for another Panthers touchdown. That puts them up by 27. Smith would have 231 total yards on the evening. Moving to the fourth quarter now, Hanson takes the snap, and he'll launch it deep down the field. And guess who? Mr. Smith. And Smith will take it in for 36 yards and another touchdown, his fifth touchdown of the night. Now, he slips and falls at the end, but he would be all good by the end of the evening, primarily because he and the Panther will go on and make history, taking on their first blue map today by final score of 53-26. to 26. These guys all love each other and care about each other, and they want to do something special, and I mean, they'd go work out after ball game sometimes. You know, we'd play a ball game. If they didn't get to play a lot of plays, they'd say, we're going to work out or we're going to, you know, do some extra stuff. And so it's just the commitment to really being a champion and doing something for the school and the community and, you know, couldn't be more proud of them. Congratulations, Coach Higgins and company. On tomorrow, Desha looks to take down UMS right at 11 a.m. Following that, Fife will go for the 2A title as they take on Lou Verne.